hi, fourth grade. It's a great day to have a great day. I hope you are living your dream and finding a way to go be great. Today we are going to review lattice multiplication, and I have a friend that's going to help us in just a minute from her fancy construction job. I would like for you to watch this video, review the steps, and then complete the practice problems. Do a couple practice problems and solve them with a calculator. You can use a calculator on your phone or on Google or on any device that you have at your house. Once you've checked your answers for the first couple, make sure that you're following the steps. If you get some wrong, go back and rewatch our video or hop onto our playlist and find some of the Khan Academy to be Khan Academy. Give me your still cool. Thanks. Watch some of the Khan Academy videos on our playlist to help you remember. You can also let me or Ms. Manister know that you need some practice with Lattice. If a different teacher is calling you, make sure you FaceTime or Zoom with them so that they can walk you through the steps of the lattice problem. If you solve a couple lattice multiplication problems and you're getting them completely right, then go right ahead and continue to finish the problems for today. For tomorrow, at the end of this video, there will be some Wednesday problems. So even if you get all of them right on the first try, I want you to go ahead and try some of the problems for tomorrow and make sure that you're able to get lattice on lock for fifth grade. Have fun practicing. Are you ready to get started? Well, all right. Let's get started on some building today. I heard y'all needed some help with some multiplication aid. Here we go. Now, if you have a problem like 37 times 24, you can, of course, go about it the traditional way. So if you have a grown-up at your house that would rather teach you the way that they learn, go for it. As long as you get the right answer, that's all right with us. However, if you remember in class, we talked about lattice multiplication. We call it lattice because it's kind of like a ladder. Now, we're going to put our boxes like this, and those are lines. They're always going to flow that direction. I've got 37 times 24, so I've got myself a 2 by 2 lattice because I've got two-digit numbers. So I'm going to put the 3 and the 7 right here. Do you see how that's 37? And then I've got 24. Now it don't matter if you put 24 up here and 37 on the side because we know about the commutative property of multiplication, which means I can switch those factors and get the same product. All right, now hang with me here. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the 7 and the 2 and trace them together. So I'm going to do 7 times 2, which is what? 14. So the 1 goes here and the 4 goes here. Now don't freak out. Stick with me. I'm going to trace my fingers 2 and 3. Those match up right here. What is 2 times 3? 6. So I'm going to put a 0 here and a 6 here. That 10's place goes right here and that 1's place goes right here. Make sure you don't switch those up. All right, now I've got another rung of my lattice to figure out. So I've got a 7 and a 4. I'm going to trace that right on over. What is 7 times 4? 28. So I get 2 here and an 8 right here. 7 times 4 is 28. Then I've got 4 times 3. I'm going to trace those over. That leaves my last box. What is 4 times 3? 12. All right. Now. Let's get this here ladder out of the way. We're talking lattice multiplication this morning. I've got my whole lattice filled out. That ladder didn't want to leave. We've got a... <laughs> Still got it right there. All right, so now when I've got all of this right here filled out, I am going to cross out my original problem. And you're going to say, why do I do that? Because this next step, I don't want to get myself confused. So I'm going to look at these diagonal lines. Do you see how I've got these diagonals right here? Those are creating pathways. So this 8 is all by itself on this little slide right here. This is going to come down. That's just an 8. Now, this slide right here is going to slide all the way down. And what I'm going to do is add those up. 
So 4 plus 2 plus 2 is 8. Good. Then this right here, I'm going to add these. 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. So the answer to 37 times 24 is 888. I didn't have to drop this one down because it would have just been a 0. Now, that's how you do lattice multiplication, ladies and gentlemen. If you need further help or if you've forgotten how to do that, make sure you hop on over to the YouTube channel and check out those Khan Academy videos. Have a good day. Thank you so much for helping. But what about problems where we have to carry a number after we multiply? Can you show us one of those? Well, I sure can. Let's check this out. So I've got my lattice drawn right here. Since 463 is a three-digit number, I had to go three across on my lattice. So in this first box, I've got three times seven. What is three times seven? Mm -hmm. That's right. It's 21. All right. Now in this next box, I've got seven times six because those are the boxes that match up. So I need to have 42 written right there. Now I've got 7 times 4 is 28. I'm done with that first row. On the bottom row, I've got 9 times 3. And then I've got 9 times 6, which is, some of y'all need to go practice those facts, 54. Then I've got 9 times 4, which is 36. All right, now you remember, my next step to help myself out is to cross these out because I sure don't want to add those up when I'm adding my slides. So now I'm looking at my slides. I've got those diagonals right there. In this first one, it's just a 7, so that seven's going to fall right down here. This one, I've got 1, 2, and 4. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7. All right, now here's where I need you to pay attention. 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2. That's going to be 11 plus 4, which is 15. So just like when I'm adding numbers up, I'm going to leave the 1's place, that 5, and I'm going to carry the 1 up here. So now I have 8 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3. Don't forget to add that 1 in. So that's going to be 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 4 is 15, plus 1 more is 16. So I've got a 6 here, and I need to carry that 1. So now I have 2 plus 1 is 3. So my answer to 463 times 79 is 83,000, no, 836,000, excuse me, 577. I just take those numbers. Oh, give me a you're still cool. That 8 was part of this problem right up here. That's a good reason, boys and girls, you need to keep your work neat. So my answer is 36,577. Be sure to check that work with the calculator. Let's review how to do 2 by 1 or 3 by 1. So let's start with 867 times 7. When I just have one digit as my factor, I'm going to go straight up and down. 7 times 7 is 49. So the 9 stays here and the 4 pops up here with a plus sign. So now I'm going to do this diagonal. 7 times 6 is 42. I'm going to add that 4. So 42 plus 4 is 46. The 6 goes here. The 4 comes up here with a plus sign. I'm going to do 7 times 8, which is 56, plus 4 is 60. So my answer is 6,069. The same thing is going to apply if I am doing 47 times 6. That's a two-digit by one-digit number. I'm going to start here. 7 times 6 is 42. So the 2 stays here, and the 4 pops up here with a plus sign. Now I've got 6 times 4 is 24, plus 4 is 28. So I have 282. This is a common mistake. I want to see if you can figure out where the mistake is. Are you ready? If I do 42, but I write it like this, uh, I've switched the numbers, and that's going to mess my math all up. So if you or if your student 
made this mistake and ended up getting 244, the problem might be that you have switched those numbers when you're leaving the ones and carrying the two. Remember, the ones place gets left and the tens place gets carried. The ones place gets left and the tens place gets carried. Happy multiplying fourth grade. Okay guys, let's talk reading. So we're gonna go back to that scholastic at home. Shout out to Tegan, major points for Valor. She was able to find this on her own and was finished with her summary before this YouTube was posted. So I'm gonna to go to Google. I'm gonna type scholastic learn at home. I'm gonna click on this top one that comes up. And I'm gonna scroll down to find my grade level. So I've got grades three through five right here. I'm gonna to go to week one. We talked about day two yesterday, and we are going, I'm sorry, day one yesterday, we're gonna do day two today. So we're gonna go down here to day two, and you get to pick. You can read, Why Do Zebras Have Stripes? Washington Secrets Revealed. This is a fiction story called Clean Start about a boy with a robot, or you can read this article about muddy moves. So you get to decide, click on the article, you can go to magazine view to see it like we did yesterday. You can do the vocabulary slideshow over to the side right here. And you can also um, do some of the projects that are at the bottom when you click magazine view. You can click text to speech and it will read it to you or you can read it on your own. So I'm gonna go to magazine view. If you're having any issues with the Scholastic website, you are of course welcome to take a picture of this screen as soon as it comes up and read it from wherever you're watching YouTube. I want to um, just once again say thank you to Tegan for being able to find this on her own. Um, you guys are doing a really good job of proactively problem solving. So please remember, I know this video was posted a little bit later today, so thank you for your patience and your grace, but it's, it's going to be up before 10.30. Um, so just remember, you can always do your choice board, you can do your independent reading, you can do your reflex, and if you need some codes or some logins, please be sure and check ClassKick, Google Classroom, ClassDojo, all those places where it's posted, okay? We are working to be proactive problem solvers, especially as you enter fifth grade, um, which even if you stay at SHA next year, fifth grade is considered middle school. So we need you to be really working on that independence. Here is the article, uh, one of the choices for today. Feel free to take a picture of this screen or hit pause and read it right here on the screen. I would highly recommend going to this website if you can because you are gonna be able to have it read aloud to you and click on all of these different things. So however you got to YouTube, just go to your search browser and type in Scholastic Learn at Home. Happy learning!